Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for mastering software and tech tools one click at a time. In today's video, we are diving into Box, the powerful cloud storage and collaboration platform used by businesses, teams, and individuals around the world. Whether you're sharing files securely, collaborating with colleagues, or managing your content in the cloud, Box makes it simple. So we will walk you through everything you need to know from creating your account and uploading files to managing folders, sharing links, and using Box Notes for real-time collaboration. So if you're ready to get organized and boost your productivity, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and let's get started. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to visit the official website of Box. If you do, you will be forwarded to a new page wherein there is an option for you to log in using your credentials. But the better option is to click the Get Started because if you do, you will be forwarded to choose to any of the following pricing plans. Okay, so for the businesses, they offer these plans business plus enterprise and enterprise plus for individuals and teams obviously we're gonna try and test the waters of box by clicking the individual for free you can sign up using your own email address your personal it could be your business or to make the account creation easier you can sign up with your google account okay once you have created your account, you should be able to receive an email from Box to verify your email address. All right, and then click on it. Now you will be forwarded to the main homepage of the Box platform. Of course, you will receive a welcome, welcome dialog box that you can invite your teammates to get started. Of course, I'm going to skip that for now because I wanted to explore the box platform and giving us all of the tools in the left side panel. Okay, so we're going to explore all of these. Now, let's look into the all files. Basically, this is going to be your main directory that contains all files and the folders you have access to. Whether you uploaded them, someone shared them with you, or they're part of a collaborative workspace, you can see them all here now if you want to drag and drop your files you can do it so there's going to be a drop down menu where and you can click on the upload fire all upload folder let's gonna do that right now so in this case i'm uploading a certain logo of our youtube channel if you haven't already you might want to subscribe to that okay so our file has been up uploaded now the recent section is the list of you've recently opened edited or viewed okay so it's useful for a quickly resuming work without searching right now because this is going to be a fresh account so we don't have any activities yet the note section is a dedicated space for box notes which are collaborative lightweight documents for meeting notes checklists or brainstorming ideas now you can choose from any of the following template a blank note meeting agenda calendar newsletter project status project plan in this case i'm going to be choosing a blank note i'm gonna click the create button and i will be forwarded to the task builder okay click the next i'm gonna type in something here let's say and then you see there's going to be a share button on the top corner you can get this link and you can send it to your team members to your organization if you're working with other freelancers or maybe to your client you can do that not only that you can also have the privilege to choose the authorization access they can view or can edit with people on the link people in your company people in this folder or remove link you have all that section for you and then there's going to be invite people and manage people as well you see there's going to be a chat button here right? it's going to be the comment you can write in a comment here and of course mention users the three dots represents 
to any of the following template options collections delete this note and a lot more you can print and embed this note we're gonna go back again to the main home page of box and very quickly we're gonna look into the canvas this is a collaborative whiteboarding tool in box if this is enabled on your account because it allows teams to visually brainstorm plan or sketch ideas in a shared digital space you see there's going to be a plus button all we have to do is you can choose from any of the following i'm going to click the x right here sticky notes which is the most popular uh, part of the canvas diagram shapes icons mind map and process flow for example we're going to be choosing the most popular which is going to be the sticky notes you'll be forwarded here these are highly customizable and the uh, you can rename the canvas right here you can add say for example here you can type in here you can choose the following colors that rest represents your organization for example in our case this is going to be the color of our channel and then after that you have the option again to share to your team members to your client and a lot more okay we're gonna go back again to the main home page of a box there is a very quick section for the sign this is the built-in e-signature tool that lets you send receive and track electronic signature requests directly within box which is kind of useful for contracts approvals and a lot more there's going to be a drop down menu here okay you can request signature you can sign it for yourself if you want just choose to upload a document which i'm going to do right now now once the file has been loaded you have an option to box sign is going to be live for all users on the top corner you have the signatures and field you can click a field to drop into the document right here okay accept and continue click the signature right here forward drag drag and drop the initials name text input checkbox and a lot more okay so you can do that on your own now the next one is going to be the relay relay is an automatic workflow tool within the box okay so you can use it to create simple or complex workflow for example auto routing files for approval to streamline repetitive tasks and then there's going to be the integrations which i personally like because within the box ecosystem there are plenty of third-party apps and services connected to your box account for example box for slack box for microsoft teams basically there's a lot for google workspace microsoft office so to make your life easier using the platform of course the synced displays of files and folders currently synced to your local computer if you're using the box drive or the box sync desktop apps obviously the trash shows deleted files and folders if you have that you can restore items here or permanently delete them okay depending on your permissions the collections is the personal way to organize your content without affecting folder structure you can create your own collection let's say yes this so that you can tag files and folders into custom collections for quick retrieval and obviously the favorites is a quick access of your list most used or most important files and folders you can manually add items here so that it's going to be a lot easier for you and with that being said and that's a wrap on our walkthrough of how to use box now it stands out as a secure and enterprise grade cloud storage solution which is perfect for businesses and teams who need robust collaboration tools and tight security while it might be a bit more than what a casual user needs its integrations capabilities and advanced permission settings make it a strong contender for professionals and organizations now have you tried box.com what do you think of it compared to tools like google drive or dropbox let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like this video and if you found it helpful please comment with any questions and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss our next walkthrough here in our channel thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video